Hi everyone. So since I've had lots of very nice comments on uh, my first version of the little Laura vlogs, as I will call them from now on, and thank you for all the nice comments. Uh, yeah, I've decided to um, to read out another excerpt from my mom's diary to you guys. And um, I think last time I left off where my mom wrote about leaving New Zealand and setting off to sail to Fiji. And just last minute they took on another friend on board of the boat. So um, that's why we'll continue reading. Teresa came on board with her computer and 10 backpacks which we stowed underneath the kitchen table cushions. Under which Ron's tools were also stored, so every time he needed a tool he had to move all of Theresa's stuff. At 7am, Ron started the engine and I undo the lines, which kept us safely tied between the piles of the marina for so long. With a lot of good, but also mixed feelings, we said our goodbyes to Fangarei, which had by now become our second home with lots of friends. Slowly we made our way out towards the sea, through thick layers of morning fog. The sea welcomed us, with lots of wind and waves coming from all directions. My stomach turned upside down and Laura was hanging in my arms while moaning from her hurting teeth and spitting her milk back out. Ha! I thought, if it continues like this, I am not continuing the sailing thing. 31st of May. Around 9am, we had finally made it to quieter waters. We dropped our anchor in front of Russell in the Bay of Islands in order to wait for better weather to continue our thousand nautical miles towards Fiji. The weather forecast is promising better weather. We decide it is now or never, although I would have rather chosen the never variation, but who am I? Together with another yacht called the Tara, we set sail out of the bay. Teresa and I both take our seasickness pills, and they even seem to help. At least we don't have to throw up, even though the pizza does jump on up and down my belly. Laura still has a lot of pain from her teeth, and it makes her a bit sick as well, which makes me stressed and tired. 3rd of June. Our boat is still flying around like the tail of a cow. But luckily, today Laura is feeling much better. All three of us feel pretty tired, even though the wind does seem to be coming out of the right direction now, and we're doing an average of five knots. From 6 p.m. onwards, we're starting the night watches, two hours on and four hours off. 4th of June, 1996. Finally, I have been able to sleep well. Laura has gotten used to the sailing rhythm and is just as happy as she is on land. Amazing how she manages to keep her balance better than we do. I am practicing my magic tricks, Teresa is reading, and Ron is very happily watching his boat and sails. 5th of June. We only did 95 miles in 24 hours. That means little wind. Ron and I hoisted the spinnaker, and that made us go a little bit faster. The sea is quiet and is already getting a little bit warmer. I baked one of my famous stone breads again which are only edible within the first few hours of coming out of the oven. 7th of June. The wind now dies completely and we are moving along under engine. In my night watch I'm seeing lots of shooting stars burning away somewhere up there in the huge universe. The moon is full and lighting up the sea around us. It's also really warm now. We threw our winter clothes in a corner and dug out our t-shirts. 8th of June. The ocean is like a mirror. Laura is climbing around her cockpit tirelessly. I treat myself to a fresh water shower. Ron is irritated because he keeps needing to fix things, and when trying to get to his tools, he's now moving Theresa's backs for the hundredth time. And at the same time, Theresa is irritated because Ron doesn't put her stuff back neat and in order. So, great times. Everyone is irritated. 9th of June. In the afternoon, a little bit of wind came, and we hoisted the spinnaker. 10th of June. The whole day we have been sailing hard on the wind. Laura is crawling through the whole boat and seems to be wondering why it's so much harder to climb from the low side upwards, and so easy the other way around. We are all sitting heeled over in the cockpit, and it's been difficult to cook. Today we will have pumpkin soup. 
and while the sky is turning to beautiful orange-red, a school of dolphins happily accompanies us into the night. Thanks for listening and um, hope you enjoyed it.